This is Sir Gilbert Gobstopper, brave knight, mighty warrior. And aspiring dolphin trainer, I might add. Wait, what? How? Anyways, Sir Gilbert is very excited. I am? Yes, you are. Oh, terrific. Why am I excited? Because today is the first day of your extensive knight training. Oh, goody. This is when King Willy Wallace has his knights learn new skills and refine their old ones. Not that I need it. He needed it very much. However, during this training, King Willy Wallace made a new decree. Hello, as your king, I hereby decree that for this year's knight training, that all the knights be paired up and trained together. Oh, what an excellent idea, your majesty. But there's just one problem. You see, I'm the only knight in the kingdom. I've realized that, Sir Gilbert. So, I have made some changes. Sir Brutus of the neighboring kingdom is being transferred over here. <laughs> uh, Sir, Sir Brutus? Sir Gilbert was concerned. He had a flashback all the way back to when he was a little squire training to be a, well, a little knight. Why, my name is Squire Gilbert Gobstopper, soon to be brave knight and a mighty warrior and aspiring dolphin trainer, I might add. I don't like your name, Gilbert. I'm gonna call you Silly Gilly. Well, I don't think that's kind. Sir Gilbert was right. That was unkind. And do you want to know something else? Maybe. I don't think you're going to be a dolphin trainer. But what if I try my hardest? Nope, not going to happen, silly gilly. Besides, we live in a landlocked kingdom, and there are no aquariums here. Where are the dolphins going to come from that you're going to train? Hmm? You take that back. Dolphins can live wherever they want. This was in fact wrong. Dolphins live in the ocean. Brutus, although mean, was correct. Brutus went on to say a lot of really mean things to Sir Gilbert. Needless to say, Sir Gilbert wasn't very fond of Sir Brutus. Your Majesty, how do I put this? Who am I but your humble servant? But perhaps pairing me and Sir Brutus was, well, a mistake. Hmm, why is that, Sir Gilbert? Well, to put it plainly, um, he's a big meanie head. <gasps> A big meanie head? Yes. He's so mean, he told me I couldn't be a dolphin trainer. Sir Brutus was actually correct about that. Well, anyways, he was just so mean to me. He kept calling me Silly Gilly, and I don't like that name at all. I don't think you can ever be a nice knight. Sir Gilbert, God can change anyone. Again, who am I but your humble servant, your majesty, but I don't believe you. Sir Brutus is just too mean. God can save anyone, Sir Gilbert. There's no one who is too mean for him to save. Sir Gilbert returned to night training. Oh, hi, silly Gilly. Are you still wanting to be a dolphin trainer? It's not going to happen. Hello, Sir Brutus. I see that you still have yellow hair and are just as mean as ever. That's right. Sir Gilbert was confused. He thought that after the king's talk, Sir Brutus would be changed and be nice to him in the next scene, but he was still just as mean. Sir Gilbert endured the night training, even though Sir Brutus was mean to him. When he had finished, Sir Gilbert returned to the king. Your Majesty, Sir Brutus hasn't changed at all. He's every bit as mean. Sir Gilbert, just because I told you that God can save anyone doesn't mean that it was going to happen the very next scene. No, oh, well that's usually what happens in the movies. Sir Gilbert watches way too many movies. Sometimes God saves people right away and there's immediate change. But other times he is slowly working on their hearts and we don't see any change for a long time. But either way, God can save anyone. Your majesty speaks oracles of truth, but should, what should I do until his transformations occurred? Mm, well, you can pray for him, pray that Jesus will touch his heart, and you can show the love of Jesus by how you treat him. What an excellent idea. Your majesty always knows the right answer. That I do. So silly Gilly. Hey. Sorry. So Sir Gilbert returned to his night training. Sir Brutus was every bit as mean. Silly Gilly, nana nana. But Sir Gilbert Gobstopper did not let the mean knight's teasing bother him. In fact, he prayed for Sir Brutus and treated him the way he would want to be treated. I am praying for you, Sir Brutus, and I am treating you the way I want to be treated. Sir Brutus was shocked. 
for one reason that Silly Gilly, <laughs> I mean, Sir Gilbert, would tell him that, and also because he was kind to Sir Brutus, even when he was mean to him. Whatever, man. Let's do night training and not be all mushy. Agreed. On guard. Sir Brutus didn't become a Christian immediately, but soon he stopped teasing Sir Gilbert. Eventually, he asked Sir Gilbert about going to church. Sir Gilbert is still being kind to him and sharing the love of Jesus with him. He is hopeful that God will save Sir Brutus. After all, there's no one too mean or too bad that God cannot save. It's true. And someday I will become a dolphin trainer. Not true. The end.